The term IP67 and IP68 are terms that are thrown around quite a bit, especially recently when it comes to mobile phones. The iPhone 7 is IP67, so I want to demonstrate what that actually means. Before I do, let me break down what each of those terms mean. The IP stands for ingress protection, which is a rating system used for dust and water resistance for devices. The 6 in IP67 signifies the dust resistance for the iPhone 7, and the 6 means it's fully dustproof, so that's good. The 7 signifies as water resistance, and what the 7 means in this case is that it can be submerged in one meter of water for 30 minutes. Not waterproof by any stretch of the imagination, but is water resistant. Now the caveat is that's only for fresh water. Chlorine or salt water, the results could absolutely vary. It's recommended that you don't take it in a pool, and it's recommended that you don't take it in the ocean. But it's a beautiful day here in Southern California. We got a pool behind us. I got some showers and fresh water in front of us. Let's test how water resistant the iPhone 7 actually is. The first test was fresh water. First, we used a hose to signify perhaps a really heavy rainfall. If you're out making a phone call, you don't have to worry about hiding under an umbrella or hiding under an overhang. It's actually gonna work and work pretty well with a lot of water hitting it. Let's say you wanna browse the web in the shower, you wanna listen to music in the shower, whatever you wanna do in a shower, it's going to work. We tested it in a shower here outdoors and the phone performed fine. Once we dried it off, we had no issue whatsoever. And I mentioned chlorine, it's not recommended, it's more caustic of course than regular water, but we did have a drop in our kiddie pool here and it worked fine. Tommy took the phone out of the water, we had no problem, we let it dry off a little bit before we plugged it back in, he was able to charge that issue as well. So whether or not you drop your phone in a puddle, you accidentally drop it in a pool, maybe you drop it in the toilet, or whether or not you just wanna rinse it off under the sink, cause maybe you spilled some soy sauce on it like has actually happened to me in the past. The iPhone 7 is gonna be okay, it's a little bit jarring to throw your phone into water, but it worked. Uh, it's certainly not waterproof by any stretch of the imagination. I wouldn't take it swimming with me and strap it onto my shoulders and to music, but if it does happen to fall into water, come in contact with water, you don't have to worry nearly as much as you did with the last generation. So what do you think? iPhone 7, 7 Plus, is water resistance enough of a reason for you to buy it? Leave in the comments down below. Anything else you wanna see us test on the waterfront, be sure to let us know. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo.